Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited for this video because it is the first time that I'm using only human hair for my knotless braids. There was no braiding hair that was added to this set and I tried to make this video very beginner friendly. The company that sent me this hair is called Y Wigs. I have done a video on their hair before and this is a different curl pattern and a different technique. One thing that I really like about their hair is that it's always really full. One bundle can really get you a long way. In this clip, I'm just showing that I spray it down with a little water so I can keep it all together. And it's bulk hair, so you do not have to worry about cutting it off of the weft. It's basically ready to go. I take a big curl from the bundle and I just start to separate it on my braiding rack. I separate the strands before even starting the set because I just feel like it goes faster once everything's prepped out. This is just one bundle separated so far, but in total I use two bundles and one fourth of the third bundle. This is the product that I use. I go back and forth from using the locked in gel to the neat braid and I love shine and jam as my secondary gel. I split my client's hair ear to ear and then I start to part. This is probably the largest largest I have done my boho set but there is four rows on each side in the front and then the back is going to be seven rows total. To begin your braid you want to part out your row and then you want to part out your box that you're going to put your braid in. Make sure you clean up your line. Adding a little bit of product always helps me when it comes to cleaning up my lines. Then you want to tuck the rest of the hair away with either your comb or a clip. Then divide the natural hair into three sections and begin to braid down. Make sure that you keep your hands close to the scalp when you're braiding. So you can keep your braid tight to the root. You want to at least braid three times with your hands close to the root. Then once you braid an inch or two down, you can add in your first strand of human hair. When you're adding in the hair, you want to leave at least two inches of the other side of the human hair, just so it can stay in the braid and your curl won't slip out of your braid. I braid one or two times down and then I take my human hair out of the braid and I just pull it up into the ponytail above. Once the hair is out of my way, I'm able to continue to braid down with that extra human hair strand and I had to switch it to a different braid because my camera died. So you're gonna continue to braid down and when you braid down a client's hair or even your own hair, you can use a little bit of product just to keep your hair inside of the braid neatly. Now that I'm getting to the end of the braid, I'm gonna add one piece of braiding hair to one strand of the hair, and then I'm going to braid a little bit. And once I have another opening where it's just the client's natural hair, I'm gonna add another piece of braiding hair and continue to braid down. And as I braid down, I'm going to wait until I get to a place where I just have the client's natural hair on another strand of my braid. Once I have that, I'm going to grab another strand of the human hair and I'm going to add the final strand to my braid. Therefore, I can braid down and I have human hair on all three strands of my braid. And with this, you can just braid down evenly and you don't have to worry about your braid twisting and turning. I would suggest feeding in a little bit more smaller strands than what I did, just cause I can tuck it a little bit, but it still gave me a little bit of bulk, but that's fine. The human hair ends up covering up any imperfections of the braid. At the end, I do what I always do, and I take a small strand of the human hair at the end, and I loop it around the braid a couple times, and I tie it in a knot. Once I tie it in a knot, I take my crochet hook, and I poke my crochet hook in my knot that I created. Then I take that small strand and I loop it through the braid. Then you wanna take your scissors and you're just cutting any flyaways and don't worry, that's not her natural hair. It's just the ends of the human hair. Look how beautiful it's already looking. I love putting a lot of human hair at the end of the braid because it weighs down the braid and it doesn't have it sticking up. One thing that I really like about this human hair is that it's super easy to braid with. A lot of human hair comes really silky, which is not that good if you're just trying to braid someone's natural hair. But with this hair, it is such a good texture and it's still silky and it really helps grip the natural hair together. And the bundles come super full to where if you were to just only have hair at the bottom, you can honestly get away with one bundle. I am doing a second braid for you guys. So I have already parted out my box, divided my hair in three strands, braid it down two inches, and now I'm adding in my human hair strand. 
I'm going to braid it in a little bit and then I'm going to pull it up. It's important to braid it in for a little so you don't have to worry about any curls slipping out. Once you pull it up, you're going to continue to braid down just to secure your curl even more. For this braid, I'm going to have two human hair strands hanging out. So this is me braiding in my second human hair. Curl towards the bottom and then I'm going to pull it up into the ponytail. And then I'm going to continue to braid down. Then once you get towards the bottom of that braid, that's when you're going to start adding in your three strands of human hair. This will be your first one. You'll add it in and continue to braid down till you get to another side that doesn't have human hair. Then you'll add it in and continue to braid down until you get to another side that doesn't have human hair. And then you'll take your last strand of human hair and you'll add it in. For each braid, you can add as much curls as you want to, depending on how full you want it. For this look, I wanted it to be a little bit more natural, so I didn't add as much curls. So each braid for the first two rows had one to two curls added, and then the three curls at the bottom. Here's another clip of me tying off my braids. So what I do is I take a little piece of the human hair again and I tie it in a knot one to two times I was being extra right here and tied it three times and I take that little piece I take my crochet hook and I stick my crochet hook through the knots that I created and I pull that little piece through the knot then you take your scissors and you cut any flyaways off of the braid for the first row i did three braids and for the second row i did four and i'm laying it as a brick pattern so therefore every braid goes in between the space of the last row i'm doing three rows below the ear and then four above the ear when it comes to the back the front has four rows on each side so I divide the front in the middle and then I do four rows In the front the first row is two braids the second row is two braids the third row is two braids and the last row for your main part is going to be four braids I wanted to make this style very lightweight and easy to do if it was your own hair it took me and my assistant three hours to complete but that was with filming too this style takes a lot of energy to do but it's definitely worth it for me it takes me about three to four minutes per braid to put in especially depending on how many curls I want to leave out as I go higher in my rows in the back I leave out more curls just to give it more of a fuller look on the last row in the main part for the front I leave out about five to six curls just to really fill it in and at this point we have only used one bundle of human hair which is really crazy because we're almost done with the head at this point we start to really fill in the braid with human hair just to give it more of a fuller look and to fill in the bigger parts these boho braids were super lightweight for my client. She was able to move them around and style them right away. The curls were very soft. The hair was so easy to work with. I rate this hair a 10 out of 10. I really have no complaints about it. As long as my client maintains this hair, it should stay looking gorgeous. I always recommend to have a spray bottle and some mousse or leave-in conditioner to maintain the curls. Putting your hair in two big twisties when it's time to go to sleep. Then putting a bonnet on. Thank you guys so much for watching. And and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!